Last week, I was having dinner with one of my oldest friends. I'm 62 and three quarters. Whoa, you're looking pretty good for 62 and three quarters. Or you couldn't be bothered to do proper old person makeup. Hey, that's enough out of you. So anyway, we're waiting for our food to arrive and... So do we actually have to worry about global warming? Here we go. No, I'm serious. Let's say we emit too much carbon dioxide and we make the earth way too hot for comfort. You mean we just carry on doing what we're doing now? Exactly. Well, scientists are pretty smart. I'm sure they can figure out a way to cool the planet down. Look, it's not that simple. The thing is, Now, what were we talking about? Oh, oh my God, that boiling hot. Oh no. Ugh, I'm so hungry, but that is way too hot to eat. Well, look, let me help you. If I just, um, eh. Bon appetit. You've ruined my dinner. You said it needed to be cooled down. I've cooled it down. But now there's gross melted ice water everywhere. Yeah, sorry, I didn't think that one through. Please remind me never to have dinner with you again. There's just no pleasing some people. But let's go back to my old pal's question. If we do overheat the earth, can't we just find some way to cool it down again? Well, scientists have already been thinking of ways to undo global warming. Like, if greenhouse gases are trapping too much of the sun's energy, maybe we could just find some way to reflect the sun's rays, to reverse it. We could use aerosols in the atmosphere to do this. Or mirrors floating in space. But even though we can be pretty sure we could pull these tricks off and they would cool down the earth, it's hard to be sure what else they might do. They might mess up rainfall and other weather patterns. And like my old buddy's meal, the earth might end up worse off than when it was too hot. Okay, so adding stuff to cool the planet down or my meal down is clearly a bad idea. But can't we just somehow suck the heat out? Okay, let's give it a go. Oh my God, that boiling hot. Uh, here, let me help you. I don't think this is working. I know. So what about the equivalent to our vacuum for the atmosphere? Well, sucking up carbon dioxide would be great and it would be relatively safe for the planet. But at the moment, no one's even sure it would work. And doing it on a large enough scale to reverse global warming would cost huge amounts of money, if we could even pull it off. So the safe options might not work, and the easy options might mess up the planet. So what's the solution? Well, for my old buddy's meal, he just needs to be patient and wait for it to cool down. Can't we just do this for the planet? Sadly, not. It would take hundreds, maybe thousands of years for the Earth to cool down again to where it started. And we just can't wait that long. So unfortunately, the best solution is also the most boring solution. We have to stop the Earth getting too hot in the first place. We have to stop emitting carbon dioxide. Thanks a lot for watching. Make sure to like, leave a comment below and subscribe so you don't miss future videos. They're going to be coming out every second Thursday. And check out a previous video over here. Until next time, bye. Oh, um, Jesus. No. No. <laughs>